Yo, what's happening, people? It's Ramon here with another preview for the Arsenal fixture. We got Arsenal versus Burnley Saturday lunchtime kickoff. Yeah, it's going to be an interesting game. This Burnley game, first game at home for Arsenal, of course. Um, after the good, good, I say a good away win at Newcastle, winning one 0 keeping a clean sheet. Um, but with Spurs and Liverpool to come in the next couple of games, this is a must win uh, against Burnley. I've said it here before the game and I'll say it after the game, no matter what the result was, this is a must game, must win game for Arsenal and Emery, Emery's boys. Um, we want to be, we, we know that the big games are the big games. They are what they are. Uh, North London derby is what it is. It's going to be all guns blazing. Liverpool away, never an easy game. So Burnley at home, we must turn up. We must turn up. We have to. We have to turn up and we have to get the three points. Um, Burnley had a good win as well. They beat Brighton 3-0. Maybe that means that they can take the foot off the gas a bit, knowing that they're playing one of the big six teams. So um, anything is better than nothing. And hopefully we go out there and spank them. Um, I'm expecting Emery to play a strong side, especially as a... It was quite a weak inside against Newcastle, which is even better the reason why we got the win. You know, played a weak inside and, and we got the win. Um, but apparently we got a lot of a lot of men back today, so um, it should be an interesting game. Um, and yeah, as I said, three more points takes us to six points in the league, and that's 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 happy days for us, man. In terms of the lineup, um, I'm gonna go for. Um, and probably you probably hear this team a lot throughout the season because this is. My favourite Arsenal team. Uh, what I know of what I've seen so far this season. Um, so I'm going to go Leno in goal. Um, he's been sturdy. He's been good. Um, Martinez is not at the level to be Arsenal number one. And now we've got a guaranteed number one in Leno. No no swapping about business with Czech. It's just one man in goal. So Leno is straight in. Maitland Niles in at right back. He had a good game against Newcastle. Um, you know, surprised a few playing so well as he did. So he would uh, he would come in straight into right back. And then uh, I'm going to go with Socrates in the middle. Again, good game against Newcastle. Held Joe Linton well. And then I'm going to go with our new signing, David Luiz. Um, wasn't ready to start against Newcastle or play against Newcastle after only one training session. So um, he's, been at, uh, he's been at Arsenal for a week now. Um, no injuries to report from. So, yeah, he goes straight back into that game. Uh, hopefully he starts. Um, and then next, the, next to them, I'm going to go with Monreal. Uh, Tierney's obviously now signed for Arsenal, but he won't be available f until um, September, we're hearing. So it's going to have to be Monreal, Kolasinac. Kolasinac is back in the squad after his security problems. But yeah, man, for me, Monreal um, played well against Newcastle again. So goes into that squad. Uh, I'm going to stick with Emery's 4-2-3-1. And I think it's the best. I think it's Arsenal's best formation. I think you'll see it quite a lot throughout the, throughout the um, games this year. Uh, and I'm going to go with Xhaka and Torreira in the middle. Uh, Guendouzi played well, but at the end of the day, Torreira is the better player. And Torreira has to play the majority of the games. Guendouzi can come in and play as he did, did a job against Newcastle. But week in, week out, I'd love to see Xhaka and Torreira just build up a partnership. I said it last season, I'll say it again this season. Them two together, when they play, and they play well, it's problems for other, for other teams. Torreira, you've got breaking down the play. Xhaka can pick out a pass. So... Yeah, man, they're at their best when them two play together. Um, Danny, Danny DeBio, I like him. Um, I'm just not quite sure whether he fits in that two in the middle or whether he needs to be a bit more further up in, in the in the camp position. Or from what I've seen of him, he probably is better in a 4-3-3 formation. So maybe if he do go 4-3-3 at times this season and maybe Liverpool and Spurs might be a game to start getting that. So we shot them before they get midfield a bit, maybe he comes in. Um, but for the time being, yeah, I'm going to go Jacques Antreira in the middle. And from right to left, I'm going to go Pepe in the right wing. I think it's time now that he gets a start for Arsenal. Um, I like him. I think he's a good player. I think he's done all right against Newcastle. A couple of good touches. Obviously, not much to really see from his performance to say how good he's going to be or not. But, you know, he'll come out, got a few good touches. And apparently, he's worked hard on our tactics and training. And he's now you know, maybe ready to start. Um, Mr. Ozil back as like Kalas and from the security attackers. Rumors about him, well, I say rumors. Emery has said that he's a bit ill um, to this week, so he may not play. But um, if he's fit, if he's ready, I'll put him in there, number ten position um, behind the striker. And 
I'm going to go with Pierre Emerick Aubameyang on the left wing. Reason being, um, I want to just see if it works. Um, it, at times last season, it, it didn't really work, and I think that's why we kind of went straight to play them both up, up front when we, we kind of knew Lacquer and, and Orbs had this connection. So, um, yeah, it didn't really work. But I'm interested this season to see what, what will happen. If you have Orbs on one wing, Pepe on the other one, both tearing at defences. Um, uh, even though Orbs was brilliant against Newcastle, again, up top by himself, just doing his thing, and he done it well. I'd love to see him if he could just cut in on the left-hand side, get a few shots off on his right foot, um, linking up with the, with, the, with the rest of the man. Then. Man, if, if, a, if, it, if Orbs works left wing, this season's a problem for certain man. This season's going to be a problem, and it is what it is. Um, and then up top, of course, you've got... Um, Lacazette, um, again, this is all presuming he's back from injury. I don't know. There's been no talk of it in a press conference. Whether that's good, whether that's bad, I don't, I don't know. So um, I'm hoping Lacazette's back and to go up top. So, yeah, that'll be my team. Joe Willock and Reese Nelson done very well against Newcastle, but it's time to start playing our best team as and when we can. Get them playing, get them knowing each other, get them seeing how each other play. Um, so, yeah, I'd go with them too. Uh, Mickey... He had a poor game. I, I, even despite the changes, and despite the injuries, I don't expect to see him starting in the in the lineup this week. Um, as I said, Burnley not an easy game. You no, know, they they like to make things hard. They like to make things scrappy. Um, Ashley Barnes is in good form already. The first two goals in the two games, and um, yeah, they look all right. They're looking like a decent side this year. I think they're going to be better than last year. Burnley. Don't know you really need to think about. Um, just go out and play their games, man. And I think um, it'll be tough, but. I'm going to go with Arsenal 2, Burnley 0. I think we will take the win. Um, and, yeah, I think it will actually be an interesting game. Early kick-off. Um, but, you know, both teams got nothing early on, on, early on in the season. Everyone's going to try and go for the win. Let's we'll see what happens, man. But, yeah, as I said, the three points is badly needed, so I hope we get it. Make sure you um, come check out the review. There may be a rant. There may be a not. Maybe a... Maybe a happy Ramona come Saturday lunchtime, come Saturday afternoon. Alright, thanks a lot guys, thanks for watching.